Hi guys, this is my July grocery haul. I shopped at Ocado again this month. It is a little bit smaller than usual because we're away for a couple of weeks this month. And um, also I didn't buy any meat. I've got a little bit of meat in the freezer, but I just found my money went a bit further without buying the meat. And I've got lots and lots of vegetables here, which is something that I usually tend to buy from the grocers. But I needed quite a lot and it doesn't seem to have stopped raining and I didn't fancy getting all wet carrying it back from the shops. So I got potatoes, red peppers, some frozen sweet corn, two nets of clementine oranges, apples and bananas. And then these bits are largely for lunches. I've been having a lot of barley salads recently. So I got tomatoes, green beans. These are one of my favourite lunches. Actually with the tomatoes and anchovies as well. I just throw those into the oven. They make a really good lunch. Avocados. I've been liking these kind of mushed up with a little bit of black pepper and put on top of a bagel. They're really nice for a lunch too. And some sweet potatoes. We have them quite often as part of dinner. But I also quite like them roasted for lunch. And then I also got some big flat mushrooms and kind of as a meat alternative to a burger, just a big flat mushroom br brushed with um, garlic is nice. You know, as I record these videos, I do realise I just get the same stuff all of the time. So this spinach pasta, which as you know, I've been really liking. Blue Dragon whole wheat noodles, there's six nests in there and I've got two packets of those. They cook really quickly and they're nice if you run cold water through them to have them cold. Um, so they can go for lunches or with a salad in the evening or you can have them hot with a stir fry. So these are a pretty versatile one and as you know, a regular in my shops too. And I also got some hazelnuts. Hazelnuts are pretty expensive. I'm going to um, toast these and roast the red peppers and then blitz them together, which makes a really nice sauce. And I think I'm probably gonna have that on salmon and I've still got salmon left in the freezer from the last shop I did. And then I got pearl barley, but I haven't been using it as like thickening a soup or stew or casserole like it says. I've been also running cold water through this and having it as a salad. It's kind of um, a, a chewy grain, um, similar to spelt, I guess. And I've been enjoying that one for salads. I've got two bags of this. Condensed milk, which is for the breakfast bars. Again, always the same stuff. Anchovies, which will go with the green beans. That's for lunches. Yeast for making bread. And I bought some more tomatoes, even though I got quite a lot last time. I think I did a midweek shop and I actually put that on my Facebook live feed, which you can see on the um, Foodie Laura Facebook page. And I bought quite a few of these to bulk out the shopping because they're on offer. It's 93p for two jars. They keep for ages and ages, so it's one worth stocking up on. So I bought another two of those. So this was marketing that was done really well. We went to the Good Food Show and we got a bag of these bagels we had a bag each actually in our goodie bag and we really really enjoyed them and I decided to buy them again so that was really well advertised for them it's definitely encouraged just to buy them more they're lovely toasted and they they don't dry out they they're quite dense and chewy really good um bagels yeah I'm really impressed with them and then I got mackerel. I always split these up and store them in the freezer. I have noticed the price of mackerel is creeping up. These were £3.29. Some Yuyo Valley Greek style yogurt. Um, this, is a, this is a nice one. I still haven't won the Land Rover yet, but you never know. <laughs> and then this is a litre of whole milk. Some feta, another one for salads. I'm determined to have salads, even if it is raining, it is at least warm. And then also Burford Brown Eggs, again, another favourite. I think my shopping videos are getting very repetitive. It's always the same stuff. Let me know if you've got any recommendations of new things that I should buy. I did like the look of these Yeo and Go pots, which is half yoghurt and half summer compost. I'm just going to open it. They're quite big. They were over a pound, these. I think they were £1.17 each. So that's the pot inside, so it's a decent size, it might be a good one for breakfast, quite a lot of yoghurt there. And I was thinking that I could make these myself and refill them because we've got so many um, berries at the allotment at the moment. And then I bought that big tub of the Greek yoghurt and now I've got this little plastic tray. It would be quite a nice one to refill in the evening and then it's ready to go at breakfast time. And this whole shop today came to £44.09. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. This is my Ocado grocery haul that I've got for you today. I'm doing it similar to last month.